Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Baby Sunrose, which is an excellent ground cover succulent, especially if you want to be attracting bees. Uh, it's also really good for pots um, and hanging baskets. I do have a number of sun Baby Sunrose plants growing around my house though, and I tend to like to keep them in the pot rather than hanging out, so I will be cutting this one today for propagation purposes. You can see how it's really hanging over the side. If you have a basket higher up, that might look good, but if you have a, you know, a pot low to the ground, not so much. So I'm going to cut this one pretty low so I will have a number of different plants to work with for propagation. What I did want to do today is propagate in a few different ways in pots and also in water to see which one did better. So I am just cutting them down a little bit further, trimming off the any dead leaves that are on the end and also any you know leaves are close to that are close to the bottom because you want to have a good stem from which the roots can grow. They're going to be growing out of the nodes on the stem, so you want to make sure that there uh, is enough space available that it can have good root growth. So this will be one of the ones that I will be planting. And this is another one, just pulling off some of the dead leaves and the leaves at the bottom. It has a little flower still on it. Uh, so this is actually fast forward to three weeks later and the ones that are planted in the soil seem to be healthy. They do have roots. Um, I did take them out a little bit earlier. I don't want to take them out and mess them up again. And finally, the ones in the water have started to grow a little bit of roots. Uh, not significant, and as you can tell, they also look pretty ugly, but we do see some root growth. So we had success in both forms of propagation, although it looks like the clear winner was just putting them back in the soil and letting them grow. So that is what I will be doing for the future.